Let's investigate the sine and cosine of obtuse angles and compare it with the sine and cosine of acute angles. Now let's start with sine 30 degrees. Sine 30 degrees, if you calculate in your calculator, you'll find that this is actually 0 0.5. Sine 150 degrees, you'll find this to be equals to also 0 0.5. Now notice here, when we add these two angles together, they will always add up to 180 degrees. And this is the acute angle, and this being the obtuse angle. Let's try with another set of values. How about sine 10 degrees? If we were to calculate this out, sine 10 degrees, will be equals to, or approximately equal to, 0 0.174. If we compare it with this value, sine 110 degrees minus 10 degrees, 180 degrees minus 10 degrees, it will be 170 degrees. If we do the sine of 170 degrees, you will actually find that this value is also approximately equals to 0 0.174. And again, these two angles over here is equals to 180 degrees. Let's try another set of values. How about sine 45 degrees? If we were to calculate this value out, sine 45 degrees will be equals to, approximately equal to 0 0.707. Now, if we were to calculate the related obtuse angle, which is sine 180 degrees minus 45, which is 135, if you guess 0 0.707, it will be correct. All right? So the relationship is this. If I have a sine angle of any angle in general, this will always be equals to the sine of that angle subtracted from 180 degrees. So this will be the first formula that you'll need to remember. Now, let's try cosine. Right, let's try cosine. For cosine, something different happens. If we have, if we find the cosine of let's say 60 degrees, Sine cosine, uh, the cosine of 60 degrees will be equals to 0 0.5. The related obtuse angle, which is cosine 180 degrees minus 60 degrees, that's 1, 2, 0 degrees, is, you'll find, will be equals to, instead of 0 0.5, you'll get minus 0 0.5. Now again, these two angles over here, they add up to 180 degrees. Now notice the difference between this value over here, 0 0.5, and negative 0 0.5. Let's try another set of values. Let's try a cosine 20 degrees. If we find cosine 20 degrees, you'll find that this, this value will be 0 0.940. Now the related obtuse angle, cosine, 160 degrees will be approximately equals to, you guessed it, minus 0 0.940. So let's try another value. Let's try cosine 40 degrees. Cosine 40 degrees will be approximately equals to 0 0.766. Now, what do you think the cosine of 140 degrees will be. If you guess negative 0 0.766, you'll be correct. Now, in general, for cosine, if you have a cosine of any angle, it will be equals to the negative cosine of that same angle subtracted from 
180 degrees. This will be the second formula that you will have to remember. Let's summarize our learnings here. First one, when you have a sine of A, it will be equals to the sine of 180 degrees minus A. Second thing would be, if I have the cosine of A, this would be equals to the negative cosine of that A subtracted from 180 degrees. So these two formulas will be used in the next section.